Welcome, welcome, guys. Happy Wednesday. Crypto FUD. Let's jump right into it. All right. So today, right now, tonight, we're going to talk about Mr. Cardano, ADA. All the ADA gang out there, I see you. So it looked like today we had a nice little, nice little run today. Um, I think, uh, let me put it up here. It was a nice run as of today. Let's see if this is uh, all day today. No. <clears throat> as of today, I believe it was like around, yeah, 7% gain today. So was nice. I uh, know a lot of other uh, projects uh, saw some nice gains today, but just want to particularly point out ADA because it's been so, uh, you know, just down and, and out recently or for the last like year. But for myself, um, as it's been going down, especially under the sub 30 cents, I've been just, you know, DCA and, and just adding to my bag, lowering my uh, dollar cost average or my average price per coin is what I would actually say. Uh, just bringing it down, bringing it down every time, you know, just buying chunks here, chunks there. So it's good to see, you know, uh, you know, a nice little jump up kind of just let you know that, you know, whenever things are back up and running, I think ADA is going to be a big contender in this game and really be competing with the top five market cap coins right now. It's struggling. It's still sitting in that 10th spot, I believe. But, you know, it's gone from, I believe, like six, the six spot all the way down to the 10th in this last year. It might have been a little bit higher up, but it was very brief. You know, it, it's rough when you get like towards like the, the top five uh, coins for market cap. You're talking, you know, $50 billion plus market cap. So those are big, big boys. Um, so just wanted to point out, you know, ADA today, 7% gain. Um, if you look at the recent chart, you know, like I said, you know, we when we saw this crazy drop over here, because I started accumulating like sub 40 cents, I would say actually maybe mid 40 cents is I started buying, but I didn't go crazy. But I was buying, you know, big chunks, big chunks. And as we started going down, you know, especially like I was going to say sub 30 cents is when I really started adding to my bag because I really wanted to drop that dollar cost average that I had and basically just accumulate, you know, I, I actually... I've been in ADA. I've been an ADA holder for a few years now, and I actually bought in when it first was at like ninety cents back a few years ago, and, and watched it run up all the way up to three dollars and and you know some cents. And I did not sell. That was part of my story from one of my videos before that I owned Ethereum as well during the same period where I started buying Ethereum at like nine hundred dollars. This was like years ago. And watched it run all the way up. I had multiple, multiple Ethereum and watched it run up. My portfolio was so high up, higher than I've ever seen, you know, as far as my crypto. When I, for me, this especially, this was like my first, second year in crypto. My portfolio was up like crazy. I watched um, Ethereum go up to over uh, $4,000. This was in 2021. And Cardano was up, you know, towards like $3 and I didn't sell either one of them. And I watched them both go down and fall. You know, it was short lived. Eventually, Ethereum was able to get back up to uh, 4000 you know, plus dollars. This was last year of uh, November. And I ended up selling then. I held the whole time and just ended up selling then. But Cardano, I didn't sell. I held it and didn't sell it. And I still hold those same... Uh, Cardano's that's in a different portfolio than the one that I've been accumulating this one in, but it's, it's another uh, portfolio that I've had that's just been sitting there, you know, cause I'm like, I'm not going to sell it. You know, I, I have, I think it's like average cause I did buy in some just to bring the average down on that one too, but it's at like 70 cents average. So I'm definitely down on that one, but this one, I ain't going to lie. I am down on this one still, but nothing near as far as how bad the other one is, but I have a, sh a crap ton more in this bag that I speak of that I've been really buying at sub 30 cents. And, you know, to me, it's, it, this is a long-term play for me. And I say long-term, like if let's say Cardano and when Cardano, you know, gets up to like three to $5 is when I will be thinking about selling. If it's something like I always tell you, if it's a giga pump where it's something that's going to jump up, you know, like fast, like within a month, we're up like 200%. Then I will think about selling, 
just because I know it's probably going to be coming down just as fast and I can buy in more or I can even get the same amount of, of coins and then, you know, take that profit and just move it somewhere else. So that's how I'm always thinking. But yeah, so if you see, I mean, Cardano has been drastically hit hard. It really has been hit hard. I mean, it really has been hit. So, you know, the fact that it's at, even right now, even with the jump up of 7%, it's still at 26 cents. To me, if you're in a long-term position or you actually know the fundamentals of ADA, this layer one project, I truly think that this isn't a bad buy-in, not financial advice, but to accumulate and, and to get into ADA because ADA's got a strong, strong community behind it. I believe 70% of all bought coins are, are staked. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I mean, there's pools, there's thousands of pools out there that you can just stake your coins and get some decent returns back. So ADA is, and, and ADA always, the uh, the Charles, the uh, the founder of ADA, always tells you that this is like a long term. This isn't something where he's just trying to like get the project, you know, like to blow up overnight. He's just, it's a long term play. He's slowly, slowly, slowly just doing what he has to do because he sees the future where he's trying to get like governments like in Africa and South America and stuff like that to actually use this as a form of currency. So if that ever is to happen, who knows? But that's why I believe in ADA. The NFT game in ADA I heard is awesome. I heard the NFTs in ADA is something to look out for and then next coming years that they're going to compete with Ethereum for sure. Is this an Ethereum killer? Hell no. I think most of the people in ADA, we've all... I never said that because I've always been an, an Ethereum believer as well. And Charles, I know we all know, but for the people that don't know, Charles actually was a co-founder co -founder of Ethereum. So a lot of people were always like trying to say that Cardano was going to be the Ethereum killer, almost like they said for Solana. But I think nowadays we know that, you know, they can all co to coexist. You know, Ethereum can, you know, still thrive and Cardano can still be out there and and who knows about Solana? That's a whole nother story. But, you know, I don't think it's so tribalism anymore. I think we're just all, you know, we all just see a project for what it is and respect for what it is. You know, Ethereum is, is you know, is, you know, the number one kind of project in regards to, um, you know, uh, those layer ones that you can build off of. You know, and, and I think there's a couple other projects that are going to be right there, like ICP. ICP is another big uh, coin that I, I also believe in, but Cardano is right there with it. Now, real quick, um, I do want to just point out just uh, Bitcoin while we're looking at this stuff today. The Fed minutes came out. I didn't really uh, you know focus too much on what was said or what was released. It's basically the Fed minutes is just really the wordage of what happened last month. Um, sometimes they'll revise a couple things or here and there, but. From what I take it, it wasn't crazy, but some people took it as bullish. Some people took it as bearish, but you can see the markets kind of rallied up a little bit today. So we'll take it, you know, I, these slow little gains, we'll take it. Hopefully, you know, when the next, uh, the Fed meeting is going to come be coming out on the 12th and maybe we'll see some dovish stuff. And, and I would like to see us start on, on, on our upward tra trajectory of, of maybe just getting past 17, thousand five hundred and using seventeen thousand as support and kind of moving up up the levels you know so we'll see you guys already know my prediction for 2023 i'm not going to get into all that fud of what everybody's calling that we're going to be going into a deep recession i honestly think at the towards the, the middle of 2023 and on we're going to start seeing uh some nice gains and i honestly think that we're going to see a twenty-five thousand to thirty thousand dollar Bitcoin by the end of this year. That's what I'm calling. We'll come back, and I will throw it in my own face if at the end of the year if we're uh, anything lower than twenty-five thousand. So that's about it, guys. Other than that, I have so I appreciate all the support that everybody's been you know giving all the views. You know the channel is slowly but surely building. Um, so. I, like I said, the quality of my videos is going to be coming out, is going to be coming up. You know, I'm going to be putting in more time and effort and more, um, you know, as far as my my due diligence in regards to just studying what I'm going to be putting out for you guys. And if you guys have any uh, questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I thank you guys so much. Hope you guys have a great night.
See you.